Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. Great to see you. It's Julie Hamilton with Life Builders bringing you simple tips to build a strong and healthy life on. Did you have a good weekend? I sure hope you did. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I know Mother's Day can be hard for some people. Um, and if it was hard, I just hope you had the grace and peace to to get through the day and to find something to be thankful for. And um, for those of you that had a great time, I'm so happy to hear that. Well, today we're talking about being a pioneer. I know that's such an old fashioned word, right? But it's really important because pioneers are, I looked it up the definition, it's a person who is among the first to explore or settle a new country or area. And also someone who opens up a road road or terrain as a pioneer. Hey, good morning, Abby. Good morning, Stacy. Great to see you guys. You know, and we don't think of ourselves as pioneers often. Well, I'm reading this book called The Oregon Trail, and we're also reading Restless at the same time. So are Stacy and Abby, and I'm like, ooh, rest, The Oregon Trail and Restless. That kind of like ties in together. That's very interesting. But um, this book is my, my favorite time period ever to read about is The Oregon Trail. I totally love it. Good morning, uh, Sheila. Good morning, Tristan. Great to see you guys. But this book, I wanted it when it came out, but I'm like way too cheap to pay $28 for this hardcover book. But I found it at the library for two bucks, you guys. Two dollars. That's like the best thing ever. It's called The Oregon Trail, and it's the story of a guy and his brother about five years ago. Yes, five years ago. They decided they were going to go on the original Oregon Trail with a covered wagon and mules. Um, there's a picture of there on here. Um, and let's see, here they are. So they're going on the trail, on the Oregon Trail, like for legit. They literally got the old maps and went the same way that all the old people went, not old people, but the people went in the 1800s and trying to find out how hard is it. They had no support vehicles. It was just them and their mules and they had to carry their water and their food and they, you know, whatever, camped at corrals and stuff. But anyway, it's a pretty interesting book, but it's got me thinking a lot about pioneering. And we don't think about pioneering in this same way, but think about the spirit of adventure that these guys had, not these guys in the book, but the people that went on the Oregon Trail. They're facing fears, they're facing the unknown, they're facing that vast expanses of things that they don't know about. They're mostly farmers. You know, a lot of them were in regular jobs like us and, you know, according because of the economic decline, they decided to take this leap. Um, a lot of them didn't know what they were doing at all. They didn't drive wagons or whatever. And, you know, we are pioneers in our lives too. And I just was thinking this, God is into making new roads. Think about that. Every time and every day that you wake up, you get a chance to say where you're going and to make yourself into a new person and make yourself a new road. And some of you are doing amazing things with that. You are like blazing the trail to be the first person to go to college in your family or the first person to graduate high school or sometimes even the first person to be a good dad or the first person to not be on drugs, the first person to live a life of love. Some of you are pioneering ways that you are leaving behind an abusive relationship and you're becoming this single mom that is an incredible single mom and you're pioneering the way to be the best single mom that you can be, the best mom that you can be. And you know, it's amazing. And some of you are just deciding, you know what, I'm just gonna love. And for some of your families, that is the best pioneering decision that you can make. And so I want you to know that what you're doing is really important. The way that you wake up and the way that you shape your day and you shape your future and you shape your family's future, it's really important. And you are pioneers. You are leading the way into the unknown, into the scary things. Now, some of you are having to pioneer through heartbreak. Some of you are going through maybe a divorce that you weren't expecting. Maybe you lost a child that you weren't expecting and you're like, how do I navigate this pathway? Well, I wanted to give you a couple of tips on being a pioneer. Thank you for the hearts. I love them. Um, and the first one is, the first thing about pioneers is they don't quit. You guys, and I'm looking at all the people that are on here right now, all of you guys, you don't stop. You don't quit. You are that person that goes on. And I love uh, from this sweet story from this book, 
and they had a really hard day trying to get the mules over this bridge. This is what, like 50 years before they went on this trip, but he would, the author was with his dad. He was a little boy, and this is what his dad said to him. He said, okay, son, all I'm saying is that sometimes you're doing quite a lot by not doing anything. You're not quitting. You just keep going. That's the pioneer spirit. The idea that I could be doing quite a lot by not doing anything at all, just by not quitting, was quite beyond me at the time, but I did feel that night that I had the pioneer spirit. Part of being a pioneer is you don't quit. You don't quit when the going gets hard. You don't quit when things don't look like they, you want them to look. You keep going day after day. You put one fun foot in front of the other. You turn that wheel one more time. You open the door to the next person coming. You reach out your arm to the next person. You don't stop thinking of yourself as a leader. You don't stop thinking of yourself as a pioneer. You just keep going. And sometimes that is the maximum that we can do is just not quit. And I just want you to know it's okay and it's good and it's remarkable. And it's noteworthy. Not quitting is an amazing thing. So if you're just in there hanging on, just know that you are doing something amazing by not quitting. And the second thing I wanted to, you to think about with being a pioneer is that you need is vision. Okay, so we went to see Infinity Wars last night, Avengers Infinity War last night again uh, for Mother's Day. But here's the interesting thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I was saying to Damien last night, did you ever think about the fact that what he needs to complete his trying to rule the world, so he's got these stones that he's collecting, we know like time, space, excuse me, um, time, space, reality, I don't know, you guys know what they are. Anyway, the last stone he needs to conquer the world is vision, vision. Without a vision of people perish, God, the Bible says, and so vision is really important and it's, it's important in infinity wars and it is important to us we have to have a vision and i was listening to um ellie worthington has a new podcast and i was listening to her show it's called the ellie worthington show yesterday and she had bob goff on and let's talk about vision because i want to share this with you you're going to get an idea some of us have a very general vague vision of what we want what we're thinking for our families what we want to do some of us have a really specific vision but you have to be preparing your life to walk in that vision so for instance this is fascinating bob goff many of you know him that he's the author of love does and everybody always is an amazing remarkable person but listen to this, he, his vision is to have grandchildren. And so he has organized his life so that he does not book anything out that's farther than nine months and one day from his life right now because he wants to be available for his grandchildren. Any day he might find out, hey, I'm having grandchildren. And then if he had booked out a year and a half, he's gonna to be too busy, you know, on a trip or whatever. So he never books anything out more than nine months and one day. Talk about vision. Is that crazy? Go listen to that podcast, by the way. It's really good. But I mean, he's structuring his life based on his vision. So I want to encourage us to get a vision for what it is that you're seeking. Are you seeking a family that loves? Are you seeking um, being a mom that invests in your kids? Are you seeking, you know, making X amount of dollars? Are you seeking helping X amount of people? Are you seeking, um, you know, health and well-being for your children? What is it that you're after? Have a vision for it. Catch a vision for it. One thing that I've been realizing that I've had a vision for a long time, but I haven't really got a hold on it yet, and this is coming from reading the book Restless by Jenny Allen, is that I have a vision for, for I want to make a difference. 29,000 people a day, children a day, are starving in Africa every single day. 29,000. That's like if half of our town starved on one day and then the other half of our town starved the next day. I have a vision, I have a goal, something in my heart that's like, you can do better than this. You can do better than this, but I don't have how it's gonna work out yet. But that's, you know, those kind of things where we know like this is something that it matters and it matters to me and it's something God's put in my heart. So pray about the vision for your life and how you can begin creating the life right now that will feed into that vision. Because without vision, 
people perish. So the two things for being a pioneer are one, don't quit, just keep going, you guys got this. And number two, get your vision, or orient your life around your vision, what you're seeing, what you want, what you wanna do. Cause you guys are blazing a trail. And I, as I said, when I, I started, right before I clicked the live button, God just spoke to me and said, God's into new pathways. God is into making a new way where there was no way. He's into making springs in the desert. He's into bringing the valleys up and bringing the high places low and making new ways for us to walk with our families. He's into generational changes. He's into severing the things from the old past and moving on into the things of the new. Those are the things that God loves. And those are the thing, the work that we do as his people who carry out his vision and carry out the things that he wants to do on the earth. So you guys are pioneers. Keep going. Vision drives your ambition. Oh, I love that, Will. That's awesome. That's right. If you have a vision, you're like, you know what you need to do to get to the vision. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. Thank you so much for stopping by and letting me yell at you for a few minutes. Um, but I hope that inspires you to think about your vision and to keep going and keep being a pioneer because you guys are awesome. I love you very much and thank you for stopping by. Have a great day, a great week, and go live your big, amazing, beautiful lives. Love ya, bye.